Hallmarkies podcast. We are really, really excited today. We have a special hall star here, one of y'all's favorites. I'm film critic Rachel Wagner, and we are talking with Tyler Hines today. Tyler, thank you so much for coming on the podcast. Hi, Rachel. Thanks so much for having me. I love that. What did you call it? Uh, Mia, a hall star? Yeah, that's right. A hall star. I love that. I haven't heard that one before. I like that. I'll yeah. Keep, I'll keep that one. Well, it's definitely earned for sure. You're one of our fa- one of everybody's favorites. We got so many requests. You got to have Tyler on the podcast. So, yeah, yeah. It's very sweet of you to say. Yeah, it's true. It's really true. Uh, so, last time we had you on the podcast, it was in March, and since then the world has fallen apart. <laughs> Um, no bet. <laughs> boy, lots has happened since we last talked with you. <laughs> a few things, yeah. A, few, a yeah. few things have happened. That's that's correct. That is true. How you been holding up? It's been challenging. Uh, I mean, I'm so grateful because I have the podcast, and it it uh, at least I I already was working from home, and so some of the things that were challenging for others were easier for me. But nevertheless. Uh, it has been hard, uh, especially losing the few things that I had that were uh, kind of my outlets, you know, like losing church, losing, going to the movies, uh, all, you know, my fellow critics and other things that I would see on, you know, a couple times a week. Uh, losing that has been definitely a challenge for sure. And how has it been with your counterparts in the podcast? Uh, are you guys spread out all over the, yeah. like the country or, or are you guys in the same place? No, we're all over, all over the place. Um, it's been challenging uh, for all of us in different ways. Some of us have families, some of us don't. Uh, then, and both sides have their challenges, you know, the mm-hmm. trying to home, you know, if you have to homeschool your kids, if you're, you know, what are you doing? Uh, figuring everything out but then also if you're really isolated like I am that's got its own challenges um, it's a uh, it's it's been tough I I think our uh, sweet co-host Amy has had the hardest time because uh, not only has she had everything else that we've all experienced but she had a flood at her house and so that's oh, no. <laughs> been a this was in uh july june or july and so she's had to they've had to move out and the house is under construction it's just it's been one crazy thing after another and you just like we just got to get through got to get through this year yeah well hopefully in uh january things will turn a corner and people can hopefully start fresh and and we can sort of see where we can go from here it's tough man i think a lot of people I haven't experienced different things, but at the other side of that, I think a lot of us have been experiencing the same thing. And I think maybe there's some yeah. catharsis in the fact that we're all sort of going through something collectively. And hopefully yeah. that can turn the sort of tough part of this challenge into something hopefully positive by the end of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, it's true. I mean, how have things been for you? Things have been okay. I can't complain. You know, I, I uh, you know, have family. Um, there's been challenges I think within my family and, and friends, but for the most part, uh, yeah, I, I can't, uh, complain uh, at all. I think a lot of people have been experiencing very difficult things. Um, and, uh, my circumstance has been, uh, quite survivable. I, mm-hmm. I'd say, yeah, I'm uh, very happy to be back to work, uh, where, where I could and very happy to be able to, um, give you guys something to watch and maybe escape just for a moment um, from all of this. Yeah. Well, we're grateful. Uh, so when you were in quarantine, did you, uh, did you like do any puzzles or do any like baking or any of the things? <laughs> puzzles, puzzles are a good question. No, I didn't, I didn't go so, so down the rabbit hole that I started to do puzzles. I haven't gone that deep. No, no offense to puzzles. I have a, a good, one of my good, good friends um, and his girlfriend started getting deep into puzzles. It's funny yeah. you brought that up. Um, but baking, yeah, I, I think a lot of cooking uh, yeah. has taken place. I, I think my culinary skills have definitely improved. 
um, maybe I don't have to fake it so much in these movies anymore. I actually have some <laughs> talent in the kitchen, I think, <laughs> now. Um, so that's, that's been one positive. So, so yeah, but no there puzzles. No, I haven't gone so deep into the puzzle world. Well, that's good. Maybe that's phase two. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Something to look forward to. Yeah. What's your, would you say you have a signature dish that's like your best dish? Um, I seem to be uh, eating a lot of almond butter. I, oh. I think I discovered almond butter this year and mm -hmm. I've been buying organic almond butter. My almond butter budget has gone through the roof. <laughs> um, yeah. So I've, I've been making different things with that. One of my favorite breakfast items is just uh, an organic apple chopped up with cinnamon and almond butter. It's been my, mm. my, my thing for months now. I'm surprised I haven't gotten sick of it, but I found an impressive dish to make by all means, but, uh, but it's something that I like. <laughs> yeah. Sounds yummy. Yeah. Uh, that sounds good. All right. Well, uh, <laughs> so now you've done, have you done six? Is that is this upcoming one your seventh home this, movie? Yeah. This one will be the seventh, I believe. Okay. Well, uh, so you've had a great run. <laughs> I mean, Is it the I, end? I don't, <laughs> Is it I over? No, no, <laughs> yeah, no. I don't think there's been like a a real stinker. I think they've all been pretty fun, and oh, good. not everybody can say that in the oh, world. Really? So way to go! <laughs> so <it's okay>. Yeah, <laughs> thank you and very much. So, do you have a favorite of the movies you did, or is it just too hard? They're too um yeah let me think i mean I, I think all of them have um their things about them obviously it's christmas eve was my very first one that i shot that was with the end that was incredible experience it was the first um so i think i'll always remember that uh all the co-stars have, have been honestly unbelievable i've been very lucky i think taylor cole was my second and, and at mm -hmm. that point uh, I had more time to sort of get to know what I was doing. The first one happened very quickly. Uh, so Taylor helped introduce me to this world. And um, we went to the TCAs together, which is like a hallmark event that they, they used to have. And mm -hmm. so that was a, a unique experience in itself. And Taylor stayed like a really good friend of mine. Um, and uh, I mean, they've all been good. But I, I think for me personally, selfishly, uh, uh, Winter and Veil vale was was a really really good one uh, for me simply because um, a Lacey is an incredible human being of course um, I got to work with a director that I had done the previous movie with uh, which was Mistletoe Secrets Terry Ingram was a director mm -hmm. and so we got to work together again right afterwards and I remember I remember sitting at home and thinking oh, you know I've done a few of these movies now and I've heard about you know repeat um, you know, doing repeat jobs with, with the same director, let's say. And I hadn't had that experience. But I thought to myself, man, wouldn't it be great to work with Terry again? I would love to do another movie. And uh, I got a call, like, I think the next day being like, mm -hmm. you know, do this movie and, and Terry's attached. So um, that one, for that reason, the fact that we shot in Vail in Colorado was spectacular and beautiful. The fact that we're able to shoot some of it in Calgary, up in Banff um, was uh, again something else and so i think all those factors together um really just made it a, a, an incredible experience so that one for me personally was one of my favorites but i gotta say that this last movie i, I have watched and uh mm -hmm. i do like the way it turned out and i think mallory is an incredible talent and i think you guys are going to enjoy her and i think the uh the movie turned out pretty pretty darn well um so this one might be up there as well Oh, well, that's very exciting. I still have Winter in Veil vale as my number three for the whole 2020 of Hallmark. Oh, so, wow. Oh, nice. Pretty high. Yeah, pretty good. I, <laughs> I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it Who's was, number one? What's the number one? I'm curious. Um, so I haven't added this last weekend's to my ranking yet, so I have to do that. Uh -huh. But... Okay. Um, so number one is Love in Store with Robert Buckley and Alexander Breckenridge. 
Uh, okay. I just really thought it was cute. It was about these QVC hosts that fall in love. Yeah. <laughs> And what was it about it that, that, that tickled you so much? Was it the, the story, the performances? What was it? It was really the banter that I really enjoyed. I thought it was really well done. It's written by Joa Bokin, and she is, she is uh, the one who did Falling for You. Uh, I uh-huh. really enjoy her writing, and that's actually my favorite of your films. Um, I, oh, really? Yeah, I think that she is she's a very good writer, and she's just so good at that, like, banter back and forth and um and i thought that they had really good chemistry and i i love falling for you i think especially that the the kiss in the middle of that movie just still is so well done i love it because you totally think that it's going to be this lame near kiss yeah they almost kiss and then she's just like uh nope i'm not go i'm not gonna let that happen and she goes for it and i love it yeah it's so good yeah i was trying to remember if there was a middle kiss you're right there is a middle kiss and it yes, brought me back so good. to the scene when we were shooting that scene <laughs> the way we were standing you want to hear a fun fact yeah <laughs> maybe take the magic out of the scene hopefully not too much for you but um while we were shooting that scene i was we shot the scene and then we turned the cameras around and I was now, uh, I think a little bit uphill and Taylor was a little bit downhill and there was, uh, something on the ground, a piece of equipment between the two of us this mat that covers essentially wires running through the floor. Um, anyways, long story short, uh, Taylor, um, leans in for this kiss and we kiss and, uh, she's not pulling away she's just staying kissing and i'm getting confused going what is happening we want to wrap this up sometime taylor like what what are we doing here and i realized it's because she was tripping on the mat and she couldn't pull herself back so she was falling into my face with this kiss and i'm sitting there so confused about what's happening and I just realized the title is called Falling for You, and that couldn't be for more perfect. Oh, my god! I gosh. didn't even know that. I mean, there that's go. why the kiss is that's... so good. It... <laughs> there you go. There you go. I yeah, think that's it was the way ex- it was. That is really funny. It was literally falling. She was literally falling she for was you. falling. Yeah, falling straight into me. <laughs> <laughs> that is really funny. <laughs> yeah. Do you, I mean, I'm, of course, you heard about uh, Taylor's uh, her, her wedding this last the uh the virtual the, she the, the uh virtual wedding and you heard it. it sounded pretty pretty sweet what they ended up doing yes yes yeah yes, cameron really. cameron larson her husband now husband and taylor are good good friends of mine mm-hmm. we stay in touch and uh, i love cameron he's become yeah. a good good homie of mine and yeah. Taylor gets upset because we just sit there and grow out with each other and she sits at the table going, hey, I was yeah. the one who introduced you guys. Let's, uh, let's, let's stop talking to each other. You guys did some mean ping pong in that movie, right? We did. Yeah, that movie. Me, like you all saw. Yeah. That's what I thought. Thank you for, thank you for bringing that up. <laughs> uh, so uh, so it, I know you were on recently on Deck the Hallmark on their podcast. Mm. And uh, so you were watching somebody else's movie, which I thought was kind of an interesting exercise to hear what you had to say yeah. about Chateau Christmas. And yeah, you were very nice. Um, and oh, I was, they? yes, <laughs> oh, I appreciate it. Um, and I was wondering, what would you say to somebody, maybe not somebody like Grumpy Dan, because he doesn't like <laughs> But if you had somebody who had never seen any of these movies, what would you say Mm -hmm. to say, give it a shot, you might actually like it? Um, I mean, there's something about, there's not much else out there like what this world provides. That's what I would say. That's something that I've come to realize. Um, And I think, when it's doing its thing at its best, it is um, holding up a mirror to some of the really beautiful things about life, um, both in the places we go, the people we meet, the things that we do, um, and of course the people we really fall for. And I think um, 
to distill that into uh, a channel, into a series of movies where that is the entire goal, even if, you know, maybe sometimes achieved better than others, I think is like a really worthy cause and a really worthy intention. And, um, you know, as actors, we, we, we do this craft for a lot of reasons, but um, I think having that at its core is, is something really valuable. And I think uh, if somebody hadn't seen one of these movies, I would just say that. I would say, hey, just sit back and don't get too, uh, too um, don't take things too seriously and just enjoy the ride. Um, and I think the guys at, uh, at the podcast do that. I think their whole platform seems to have a nice balance of, you know, poking fun or, or pointing out some of the things that, you know, maybe are some shortcomings that are, are fun and funny to look at because we can't take ourselves too seriously here. Let's be real. Um, right. But also just appreciating the thing overall as an experience, I think is, is great. Yeah. Uh, that's why I try to, to tell people is that, you know, that, romance is part of most people's lives like that mm -hmm. there is a cheesy component to all of our lives and you hear you hear people's stories about how they met and how they connected in real life and most of them are pretty cornball and it's just part of life <laughs> and, and so it's fun to watch these movies that that sh that showcase that and are are uh sweet and um and that you know make you feel good and uh, i think that there's definitely a place for that and we used to get it from from the feature film community but we don't anymore we not, we almost never do you're right and so we absolutely need homework right. yes you're absolutely right there used to be a really strong um genre here that i think kind of fell by the wayside and that's what mm -hmm. i think was so great that hallmark picked this up and said hey we, we love these movies we always have where where have they gone so let us just give you that in spades so i think yeah. that's a very smart thing to do yes agreed all right so 12th on the 12th day day of christmas coming out <laughs> it's, a this it's, it's a tough title and uh, on the 12th <laughs> even, even i struggle believe me i think it even changed while we were shooting on the 12th date of christmas yes that's what yes. it is dates yes date so we're real excited about this film uh and you always have such great chemistry with all of your co-stars uh we had a joke last year that that we're gonna just have the pull a person off of the street and you're in a tyler hines movie and <laughs> be amazing chemistry <laughs> that would be an interesting movie i just grab yeah. somebody and congratulations just in a hallmark movie and see yeah. what happens yeah that yeah, could be fun i like that i'm up for that <laughs> okay congratulations you're in a tyler Hines movie here we go it would be great <laughs> um That's but uh, yeah but tell us a little bit about it and tell us about your role um well the movie uh is basically about two uh, game designers who are creating an event for a hotel chain um, and they get uh, teamed up together to make a romantic scavenger hunt in the city of Chicago, showcasing the sort of city um, as beautiful and fantastic as it is. Uh, my character, Aiden, does not want to be partnered with Jennifer Mallory's character because he's used to working with his uh, other partner and uh, is generally just a little bit, uh, I think, eccentric or maybe insecure or whatever it is and makes him uncomfortable the whole process. But throughout this uh, creating of this event, things change and uh, their uh, relationship as it starts to spark gets put to the test when we realize that uh, Aiden's care, uh, Aiden has actually applied for the same position that Jennifer very much needs. Um, mm -hmm. And so I think it's a really nice story about uh, a woman, Jennifer, uh, Mallory's character, just sort of um, embracing and coming to understand that she is as talented as she thinks she is, and she finds her sort of professional voice and confidence, and I think that's a really beautiful thing. Um, I think essentially that's, that's what the movie is about for me personally. Mm, I think this sounds fun. I mean, there yeah. there's not that many that are set in the city, so that's kind of fun. Yeah, that was unique for me too, having mm -hmm. something sort of urban in that sense. It was cool. I mean, it's got a good balance because we still go to the Christmas tree farm. You still have some of that, some mm. of that uh, 
classic feeling but yeah having it be in the city definitely gives it a bit of a different uh, twist which is nice for me because we had last year christmas scavenger hunt which i enjoyed mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. but it wasn't a very good scavenger hunt so i'm hoping <laughs> that <laughs> I'm hoping it's an important that part of the script. The, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I still, uh, I still enjoyed it, but but I'm hoping with this, with you being game designers, that this is like a really fun, like there's a the scavenger hunt side of it is fun. Yeah, I think we've got a good a good uh, group of events. We've got, uh, I mean, we we chop a Christmas tree. Um, we do the hot chocolate with the carolers. We go mm -hmm. ice skating. We, um, there's a, there's a, there's a good, we do painting. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's I think it's, it's got enough that, uh, it, it definitely justifies the, um, the premise. I hope. That's good. That's good. So, uh, so did you shoot this in like in August? Yeah, we shot it, uh, June, July, August, yes, somewhere in there. It's it's, it's tough. Time seems to be blurring <laughs> together as far as dates, but yeah, it was somewhere and it was hot. I remember that. So, uh, what was it like returning to shooting and being in in COVID and everything like that? What was that experience like? It was uh, it was nice. Honestly, it was um, the production cartel who were the producers of the movie, uh -huh. took great care of us and everybody else. Um, Hallmark very much stepped up and taking responsibility for what was going on and uh, still, you know, being ambitious and brave and trying to give you guys the, uh, the movies that you know and love um, this year and not let this year uh, not happen, you know. Um, and as far as the actual experience, it was, it was great. It was really beautiful to see uh, a group of people, the crew, the cast, uh, the executives, everybody sort of band together and focus and be very considerate of each other um, and very patient with each other. I, I mm -hmm. thought it was a really beautiful thing to see everybody at this moment in time sort of uh, rise to the occasion. So you felt safe and uh, very well, safe. Yeah, well, take care of. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, for, for me, it's, it's, it's a very simple math equation. If I get sick, everything stops <laughs> mm -hmm. so right. everybody has a very strong vested interest in that not happening so um i don't think i personally uh, you know as an actor it's like you really aren't concerned because you know you you, you really can't get sick yeah you you're know? like the prize jewel <laughs> i mean it's just you know <laughs> yeah it's not really gonna work <laughs> on camera if you get sick <laughs> yeah well, that's good. I mean, I, I'm just blown away that they pulled off 40 movies. I, I still can't believe it. I, I just amazing. We tell, we're talking off uh, air that, that I, I feel like I'm one of the only critics that has too much to review these days. <laughs> yeah, like, you're right. That's, that's a very good, grateful point of view to have. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like I, I chose well in, in picking the holiday fair as my uh, niche, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because the, it, it, it will go forth unabated. The pandemic can't stop it. Nothing can stop it. And uh, and we're we're continuing on, and uh, I I'm just so glad to hear that everybody that I've talked to has felt safe, and uh, and that uh, that they were able to figure out this new way uh, of making uh, making these movies. It's pretty it's pretty incredible. It's pretty incredible. It really is. It's, def it's definitely a testament to the producers and the people behind the scenes. Because mm -hmm. as actors, you know, it, it was a challenge in the sense that it was just different. But as far as everybody else mm -hmm. who, you know, really work hard to make these movies, it was a real, real um, testament to them as artists and, and human beings, the, the amount of creativity ingenuity patience consideration mm -hmm. responsibility that they took in order to actually do this so hats off definitely to them yeah amazing uh, were there parts that had to be changed in the script because of covid like like for any festivals or group scenes or things like that to be changed I mean, uh, I'm sure that there were many conversations, um, again, behind the scenes that, mm -hmm. that took place in order to logistically do what we needed to do safely, um, overly safely, because, 
you know, they're, you know, it's still very much an evolving thing. And so I think, um, I'm sure there were many conversations very, very carefully calculated to do what we needed to do. But as far as on my end, as a viewer and as a performer, it was the same. It didn't feel any different than the other movies. I didn't feel like anything was sacrificed or uh, compromised in any way. Mm-hmm. That's great. That, that's really good to hear. Uh, so yeah, in Mallory Jansen, this is her first Hallmark movie. So that's exciting. Very exciting. Very, very lucky that, uh, I got to uh, sort of support her her mm-hmm. first movie and support her first uh, character in Hallmark. Yeah, you got to be like her, her Taylor Cole. <laughs> That's you. right. Yeah. I got to be her, her. I was her arm candy and <laughs> and valet as she came in and crushed it for all you guys yeah. to enjoy. Awesome. Okay, so you have just these incredible fans, the Heinies, <laughs> um, that love you so much and. Do you have anything that you want to say to them, a Christmas message or shout out or anything like that to your, to your fans? Um, that's a good question. Uh, well, I want to say I love you guys. I hope you guys are doing okay. I hope everybody will enjoy the movie and hopefully enjoy the holidays. I know it's been a, definitely a unique year for all of us. And, uh, I was very grateful that, you know, they've been able to share some of their stories with me and uh, I've been able to hopefully provide them a little bit of uh, entertainment during all this. Um, and I, just, I would say I'd probably just thank you. You know, yeah. I, I think these, I, I'm just in such awe of the entire group that they've created and how they support each other and how they have fun and how they, they uh, you know, objectify me. I love it. I love it yeah. all. That's great. <laughs> all right well they will they will love that okay so we just end with some fun holiday questions for you all right first question what is your favorite holiday drink uh i consistently drink whiskey so i think throughout the holidays and i I mean yeah i think i've (laughs) probably maybe some apple cider with a little bit of whiskey sounds like a nice a nice drink Okay. Uh, what is your favorite holiday cookie or treat? Ooh, holiday cookie or treat. I like those sugar cookies. Those are mm-hmm. really good. Yeah. Um, holiday cookie or treat. Yeah, I, I just like the breadth of, of desserts that come out for Christmas. It's all these things that you normally wouldn't go and eat, and because you have a nice buffet, you get to have a little bit of everything, and I love yeah. that. You're like a you you're open to all holiday treats <laughs> anything that'll be oh. delicious and terrible for me right okay good okay uh do you have a favorite christmas song or carol um you're gonna have to uh i did uh, uh sirius xm and hallmark asked me to do a countdown to christmas the this thing where i do my top 10 um, holiday song picks and uh, I think you have to tune in to, to get the answer to that question. I feel like if I give it away here, it'll, it'll spoil it. All right. We'll have I picked to... very carefully. Yeah, okay. I picked very carefully. I put thought into my actual songs that I do love and they're in there on that list. I think it airs um, Saturday at noon. Ah, all right, everybody. Make sure you tune in. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite classic Christmas movie? Ooh, um classic christmas movie it can be die hard if you want whatever you like (laughs) yeah i mean there's i got a question similar to this in some of the other interviews but maybe i'll give a different answer i I normally say lord of the rings over the last few times because i just seem to watch lord of the rings every year and i don't know how or why but it happens (laughs) but my actual i think one of my favorite christmas movies is nightmare before christmas is an amazing Mm -hmm. movie i think um yeah and I think uh, Love Actually is just a, like as far as a heartwarming holiday movie, that one I definitely would, would uh, tune in for. Good choices. Good choices. Although there is some debate about Nine Before Christmas, if it's a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie. Yeah, I know. It's kind of the best of both worlds, I think. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, so uh, which do you prefer, Scrooge or the Grinch? Uh, Scrooge for sure. One of uh, Bill Murray is the greatest of all time, and uh, mm. his movie Scrooge was 
so so very good yeah his his new movie on the rocks it's so good I highly recommend oh you it. watched it yeah yeah it was good it's so good he's i think he will win an oscar for it i'm just predicting wow. now i thought he was the best i've ever seen him he was okay not to overhype it but i really enjoyed the movie and i really liked him a lot anyway oh, um great i actually listened to a podcast with uh sofia coppola the other day talking about that movie yeah. for a while and uh i started to pique my interest i wanted and to see it so it's good to hear i'm not always the biggest fan of her movies to be honest and mm-hmm. so for me to to be so uh to have enjoyed it so much uh is saying something i just he is so charming and if mm. if i don't know maybe it's because like my dad isn't like him in as far as personality traits but in the sense of whenever you're in a room with my dad you know you're in a room with my dad like he commands <laughs> the room and uh and so that's the exact way that her, her that bill murray is in that movie like he's just such a charismatic character yeah uh, well, i love if your that. dad's anything like bill murray you're a very lucky lady yeah. <laughs> He's, he's the best. Okay. Uh, so which do you prefer, clear lights or colored? Um, clear. That's okay. a good question. I, I decorated my, my tree. It's pretty like monochromatic. I keep mm-hmm. it all kind of white and uh, pastel colors. Nice. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Would you rather be in a snowball fight or build a snowman? Snowball fight for sure. I mean... <laughs> funnest okay. thing ever on every every movie i do with terry ingram there's ten. there seems to be snow around and one of my favorite things to pass the time is pelting him a snowball so <laughs> definitely up for a snowball fight <laughs> like will ferrell and elf <laughs> exactly <laughs> very good okay uh would you consider yourself a good gift wrapper or not i'm the worst i'm the just worst. the absolute worst yeah and anybody that i am in, in the vicinity of while it's happening just gets really violent about the fact that i'm that bad they just <laughs> always rip it from my hands and do a much better job but I, I do that thing where you like you put it in the middle you put way too much wrapping paper you just wrap it all around you put a giant piece of tape that looks hideous on it and then you like curl up the ends into a ball and it's uh-huh. just, it's not pretty but they're all like I should, I should put more effort yeah they're all like dude use a gift bag <laughs> <laughs> i don't know something about gift bags too seem kind of anticlimactic but a part of me also is like you're just gonna rip this thing apart anyway so why don't i make this thing look pretty <laughs> that's right all right last question mm-hmm. do you have an ugly christmas sweater and what's your ugly Christmas. I sweater. don't. I I had one that I took from Mistletoe um secret, secret and then I gave it to to somebody. I gave it to um I think I gave it to Natalie, who's one of the executives at Hallmark to wear at their ugly Christmas sweater party at Hallmark. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I did. <laughs> I was gonna say is it one of your your sweaters that you've given away? You know yeah, people want your clothing. <laughs> Yeah, there were some good ones in Mistletoe Secret. I should have taken all three of them. There was like yeah. a cat one that was really good. Um, yeah, I should, have, <laughs> I should have stolen those. Good point. I'll do that next, next time. year. Next year. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, you you finished. You passed the test. You can keep making Christmas Thank you. movies. <laughs> oh goodness. Thank um, goodness. I didn't know that was on the line, but now that I do. It. <laughs> Thank goodness. I wish we had that power. Um, but no, we're really looking forward to the new film. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. I really appreciate it. And uh, so thank you very much. Always a pleasure, Rachel. Thank you so much. And uh, anytime. And happy, happy, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. And uh, hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Yeah. Do you have social media that you want to share? Uh, yeah, I've got uh, Instagram and, and Twitter and, uh, and Facebook. I would just say join the, uh, the, the Heinies on Facebook. Yes. I think they have a lot of fun in that group. And uh, I, I definitely invite people to join what they're up to. Um, okay. My Instagram is Tyler underscore Heinz. And I think the Twitter is the same thing. Um, yeah. 
Great. So we'll have all that in the description section. Make sure you all follow Tyler and join in with the Heinies because it's just super fun. So uh, do that. <laughs> and, <laughs> and thanks again. We really appreciate it. And I hope you have a very Merry Christmas yourself. So thank you. You too. Heinies for life. Yes. <laughs> Bye, everyone. All right. Take care, Rachel. We'd like to thank Tyler for coming on the podcast. This was really a lot of fun for us to get to talk with him and to get to uh, hear about this new movie. So thank you so much, especially it was kind of last minute. So I really appreciate it. And uh, make sure you're all following the podcast, the Hallmarkies Pod and Hallmarkies Podcast, all of our social media. And if you are listening on iTunes, please leave us your ratings and reviews. We really appreciate that so, so much. Uh, we got a couple new this week and we are very, very grateful. So thank you so much to anybody who leaves a review on iTunes. It helps people find the podcast, especially during this very busy time. And also we have our merch store, which has all different kinds of merch. And, uh, and so make sure to check that out. We've got all different festive designs for the holidays. Please check that out. The link will be in the description and uh, you can find me at Rachel's reviews, all of our social media, iTunes, YouTube, and on Ron tomatoes. So please check that out. And thanks again to Tyler and Merry Christmas, everybody. We'll talk to you all later. Bye.